Here we are at the University of Minnesota High Tunnel facility with Chuck Schulstad, and he's uh, showing us just the amount of growth. These were about less than two feet tall when they were put in last uh, spring 2011. Carmine Jewel dwarf sour cherries, and they are now a good, oh, coming up on uh, four and a half, five feet. So, what do you think of them, Chuck? Well, they certainly have, have put on a lot of growth, and it's fun to see them. We have not had any experience with sour cherries, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, what we do know is that the birds set, uh, tend to like them, and maybe we can thwart that in here. Very good. So we had Carmine Jewel and Crimson Passion. Now, have you read the uh, labels, or do you just remember, or do you know them from looking at them? Oh, I think the green one is Crimson Passion. Oh, okay. So color, we have one Crimson Passion tank. there, which is actually grown as tall as the Carmine Jewel. And the thickness of the wood and the number of branches is just phenomenally, significantly different <laughs> compared to what's growing outside. University of Minnesota Carmine Jewel Cherry, two-year-old, planted spring of 2011. It is now April 23rd, 2012, starting to leaf out. They grew to about uh, knee high, above knee high, two feet plus tall last year. Should we know something about pruning these? I mean, do you just leave that happen, or do you try to shape them like you do apple trees, or what do you do with them? Well, the, uh, I think in the futures, yeah, you would maybe want to do a bit of. And we ran fertilizer through the tapes. For, oh, you did? Yeah, a couple different times. Any um, idea what kind of fertilizer? I think we just used Miracle Grow. What is that, Triple 15 or something like that? Uh huh. Did you fertilize outside at all? Not at all. So maybe a combination of the fertilizer and the environment. Uh, and the environment. Yeah. So. Well, and we didn't necessarily fertilize for the, the the cherries. We were fertilizing the apple trees and the plum trees. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the cherries were the benefactor of absolutely the because we, yeah. we don't know. You've got a line on both sides of the of the plants. Yeah, double lines. 